This is me, Dr. Nasi from Physics Department, College of Science, Salahadin University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, calculate the equivalent resistance for the circuit of combination of parallel and series. In this chapter, we're talking about uh, resistors in series and resistors in parallel connections. First of all, for a series combination, what we mean, resistors in series, we mean in series combination or in series connection of two resistors or more, the current are uh, same in both resistors because the amount of charge that passes through both resistors R1 and R2 R is nominated the symbol for resistor it is the same in the same time and the same current I the symbol of current is I must flow through both resistors for example in this circuit we have a battery or power supply this is a direct current and we have a current through the circuit and which means that all the charges passing through this resistor is equal to the uh, charges passing through this resistor at the same time that is conservation of charge so to combine these two together or we can deal with these two resistors as a one resistor we can find out a equivalent resistor for both of them. We have to uh, follow this rule. In the closest circuit, the potential difference across both resistors, potential difference, adding potential difference across both resistors, this is a potential difference across the first resistor, plus the potential difference through the other resistor equal to the potential difference of the circuit initial. So this uh, delta V, which means the main potential, is equal to the total current, which means I, multiplied by equivalent resistance. So we will rewrite this as follow. So R1 plus R2 is equal to the equivalent resistance. This is a formula for series connection or series combination for two resistors if you have more than two the same formula will flow the resultant or net resistance equal to the adding all resistors together for the second part for parallel connection as we covered in the previous videos for parallel connections all potentials across this all elements are equal. Potential difference across the first resistor equal to the potential difference across the second one equal to the net potential or the main potential. We have a DC power supply or a battery. In this circuit, we have main potential difference is equal to the potential difference across the, this resistor and equal to the potential difference across this resistor as well. Potential difference across this one is equal to I1 multiplied by R1. Potential difference across this one is equal to I2 multiplied by R2. As we know, at any junction, the currents flow to the junction equal to the current flow out of the junction. So the current flow into the junction is I and the currents are flowing out to the junction I1 and I2. So I1 plus I2 is equal to I. If we replace this in the formula, we can say I1 is equal to potential difference across first one divided by R1 for the second one as well. We can say so. So from this formula and by replacing I by their equivalence, we can say the net, the net resistance 
following this formula if they have been connected as a parallel connection so for parallel connection we have this formula we can say the R net or R equivalent or resistance equivalent resistance is equal to R1 multiplied by R2 divided by R1 plus R2 this is a main formula so this is for one resistor this is a formula we can follow now we are solving this example if we have this circuit we have a DC power supply or battery and we have two resistors the resistance is equal well in this example saying two identical light bulbs imagine those are light bulbs are represented by the resistors R2 and R3 which we said both of them are equal the switch S is initially open open does mean that there is no charge or there is no current flow into this path so the total current will follow this path in a first part okay we can easily calculate the total current as we know from the Ohm's law and the example saying so what happens to the current after the switch is closed after the switch is closed what happened to the current the current will increase or decrease comparing the previous one previous situation or first situation those are the multiple choices we have to calculate and find out the answer and choose the correct answer initially as we said initially the current is given by Ohm's law is I is equal to potential or potential difference main potential difference divided by R2 in a second situation after the switch is closed the net resistance in parallel connection so in parallel connection as we said 1 over R total or R net or R equivalent is equal to 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 when is R1 R2 is both of them are equal so 1 over R2 plus 1 over R2 equal to 2 times 1 over R2 when we inverse this one inverse this one we can say the R net or R equivalent is equal to R2 divided by 2. This will be inverted as well. Now, if we replace it in the Ohm's formula, from the Ohm's formula, as we know, the I total current in a next or in a second situation, total I is equal to potential difference divided by total resistance as we found out the total resistance this was amount of total resistance r2 divided by 2 and if you replace it we will find out the current in a second situation will be two times the current in a previous situation and we can say this is a result or this is a correct answer now if you have more than one resistor we can say this three in a series connection and this three they are in a parallel connection for those will be parallel formula for this we will apply series formula in this kind of circuit these two in parallel we will calculate these two as a parallel we will find out the result of them the result of them will be in series with this one or we can say in this situation as well these two they are in series 
connection we will find out the result of these two then we will say the result of these two will be in parallel with that one we cannot say we cannot say these two are in a parallel because one side is connected the other side there is another resistor in the way now think of these two examples we're gonna solve them in a next tutorial very soon